Which steps could you use to estimate the total stopping distance if you are driving at 120 kilometers an hour? Select all that apply. So there may be more than one correct answer. A, B, C, D, and E. Now we need to know what total stopping distance means. If you look at this diagram here, the total stopping distance is going to be the reaction distance plus the braking distance. The total is bigger than each of these individual distances. Now the goal is to estimate the total stopping distance. Choice A. To find the total stopping distance, can we extend the total stopping distance graph to 120 kilometers an hour? So the total stopping distance graph is purple. We're going to go all the way to 120 kilometers an hour. It's going to be around here. And if we extend out towards the right, can we really calculate this purple graph? And certainly we can. The answer is somewhere between 120 and 140. And we have the total stopping distance. So the word extend means we're moving towards the right. And we find our answer, what we're looking for. Let's jump to the other correct answer. Choice D. Extend the braking and reaction distance graphs also to 120. So we're moving all the way to the right to 120. That's what we're doing by extending. And we're going to add the braking and reaction distance graphs. The braking is going to be red and the reaction distance is going to be green. Is it really true that adding these, the green plus the red, is it right in terms of getting the total stopping distance? So the green plus the red If you look up here at the table at 120 kilometers per hour, the green plus the red indeed is 130. So this is a valid approach. Extending out to 120 kilometers an hour, directly reading the purple graph, we can also see it's also 130. This here is 130. Every other option is a bit strange and doesn't make sense. B. Add the total stopping distances at 80 kilometers and 40 kilometers an hour. The total stopping distance, the purple graph, if you add at 80 kilometers an hour plus 40 kilometers an hour, you can see it does not match 130. 26 plus 69 is not correct. This is not the question we're asking for. We're asking for the total stopping distance at 120 kilometers an hour. So this is an invalid approach. Choice C. Why would we multiply the sum of the braking and reaction distances at 40 by 3. This just doesn't make sense. People who don't understand what the question is asking for might just innocently say 40 times 3 is 120. It must be correct. But try to read what the question is asking for. It's asking for the total stopping distance has to be computed properly at 120 kilometers an hour. Finally, extend the braking distance graph to 120 kilometers an hour and subtract the reaction distance at 120 kilometers an hour. Why would we take the red graph and subtract the green graph? That's the wrong formula. At 120 kilometers an hour, if we take this red graph, the braking distance, subtract the reaction distance graph, minus 50, we get the answer 30, which is nothing close to 130. So this is also invalid. 